everyone and welcome back to Rags to Riches. We are on episode 13 today and we're catching up with Carly just as she is finishing off her sleep for the night though it is very early in the morning but hopefully it means we can get a lot done today. We were very busy last episode trying to hunt down the last few things we needed for our collection and I would quite like to continue working on that today. So we'll get our needs all sorted out. We'll also have a little look at our garden. We'll see what little Moo is up to in a moment. But I'm finally going to edit this wall, move down the posters and get them all sorted because it was annoying me in the placement. It was just all very sporadic. So let's sort our photos as well. We've got photos with Yuki and Dwayne. I believe that's the only people we've got photos with. I don't know if we've put up Luna's photo. Oh, we've got a photo with Ash as well. We haven't seen her in a few episodes, but maybe we need to spend time with Ash. And of course, that postcard from last episode we got from Dwayne. Still haven't seen if he has actually moved into our neighborhood, but we will check on him soon. I'm sure we'll see him, but now time to check on little Moo. He is hungry as well, so we will need to feed him. We'll need to remember to do that often so we don't get eaten by him. I believe you get free chances before your sim could pass away and we don't want that at all. We've also got some plants to harvest so we will get to our daily routine now of checking our plants and selling some stuff off. If you can see in the, the corner on the left we do also have over 5,000 simoleons. We've reached that little mini goal for ourselves. And if we do complete one of our collections, we'll probably be able to sell off a lot of the frogs and the figurines because we won't need to keep as much track of them as we are just now. I'm keeping a lot of them just so I see what we do and don't have. So while Carly's taking care of her garden, I'm going to have a look around to see if there's any dig spots or stones. And it looks like there is a couple. There's also the frogs. So we'll be able to start getting to work soon. Hopefully there's also some plants which are in season now we can also grab. Yeah, it looks like there is a few things we'll be able to get, but our queue is full. So we'll need to wait a moment for that. Oh, and Miss Little Moo's getting into trouble. He's obviously not playing very nicely. I think little Moo's gonna become our our friend, our, our little pet almost on the lot. Maybe we'll get a pet in the future, but we definitely need to work on our house more before we do that. We have no space. Last episode I said we'd also look at dumpster diving to furnish our house. We still need to find the best way to fix furniture. Potentially the handiness skill could do it. Let's have a look at this big spot and see what we've got. It looks like it's potentially a metal one with those little speckles. And it is, it's a heavy metal. So we will send that off to the Geo Council when we get back to our lot after our little look around here to see what we can all find. So we've got the striped eggplant frog here. I don't know if it's a new one, it might be a duplicate, but we can sell it off if it is a duplicate. We'll keep some of the more expensive frogs if we do end up selling them off so that we are able to breed them for money because if they are more expensive, we'll be breed them together. Of course, it's worth more simoleons. And there is a little crystal spot by the looks of it. We'll see what we can get there. And there's some new flowers. I don't think we've found these ones before. Let's have a little look around. And this one's hopefully going to be a fossil spot. We've got the one fossil to get. Oh, and okay, so it's clear to queue. So we're going back around trying to find everything we had queued up. The most important thing, though, is those rocks. We need them for our collection. We need to get that final fossil, which has been hiding from us for the last couple of episodes but 
but hopefully we will be able to get it completed today. I have my fingers crossed. It's oh, I just don't want to have to keep looking around for stuff to dig up. I want to move on, work on some skills, work on getting our house up Rated, and it looks like we have a capsule there she's very excited but yeah I really want to get the first aspiration completed we'll be able to move on to something else work on our skills as I said and just really start making progress on this rags to riches challenge as well so we're going to run and grab this little rock here hopefully it is one with a limestone in it I don't think I've seen any pop up saying we have limestone in our inventory and it is we have found a limestone okay so we will get this last little dig site and then we will start opening up the capsules and the limestones we will also need to get changed because she is not in her hot weather outfit this girl never wants to automatically get into her hot weather outfit and she keeps overheating um, so we need to avoid that because that could unfortunately end this challenge right here if she passes away and I don't want it to end. Carly has a lot more still to discover in this world. She's got to work on her house, upgrade it, we'll also get her high school diploma at some point. So we're all changed now so hopefully she will be more comfortable. So let's have a look, we've got one new frog, that's good. A duplicate here, we'll sell that off for 30 simoleons. And then let's have a look here. So two new metals and of course that capsule we'll need to look at. We've got two of the limestones, so fingers crossed right now. <gasps> and we've completed the collection, so Oh, and that's the aspiration that we got the final fossil we needed. Oh my gosh. So it's all complete. It's all gold. Level four, the curator. We have managed to complete it. So we need to select a new aspiration. So I'm thinking, because we've been doing a lot of garden, we should do freelance botanist. We won't be able to complete the entire um, aspiration because it does involve getting the gardener career which we won't be doing but we can get a couple done because at this point I don't think we should move on to the mansion aspiration because that's going to take ages and we're going to reward ourselves. I did say when we complete an aspiration we could get a, a trait so when we complete aspirations and reach level 10 of the skills we could see about getting a reward thinking one of the traits which helps us with our skill building but I am looking at the heat acclimation one because it's summer right now she keeps trying to overheat so I think we will get that one potentially some of the other ones which are more expensive like hardly hungry they're gonna make a challenge a little bit they're gonna help make the challenge a lot easier do look at super green thumbs as well because we are a little gardener but for now let's go for heat heat acclimation just to help with the summer we'll potentially get waterproof or something like that next time if we are spending time outside it's just gonna make her less uncomfortable so let's head back to the lot getting a little lost there <laughs> We're going to come back here and plant the new flowers we've found. We'll plant a couple of them. It will help towards this new aspiration. We have got to plant three plants and then water 10 times, I believe, or fertilize. So we will run back over, get these two new plants in the ground. We'll see what we're going to do today. I didn't think we would find the fossil so quickly. I thought we were going to have another episode of running around looking for all the different things we could dig up, but we've managed to do it. I think now that we've got all the fossils, I want to eventually display them, but it does mean we can sell off all of these frogs. I'm going to sell off a lot of the cheaper ones so that we keep some of the 
more expensive ones for breeding that will help us with our money. It's an easy source of money. Let's sell off all these frogs and see how much we can get. All those simoleons rolling in. There's a lot of 30 simoleon frogs here, some tens as well. 120, we need to keep that. 100, 30, we can get rid of that. It looks like most of the other ones we've got are the ones which are worth 100. We'll get rid of that last little one there. Need to decide what I want to do with the Sims trophies. I'll probably keep some of them for decoration. But let's deal with the metal and sell off our duplicate fossils. We never need to look for a fossil again, which is going to be so nice. We're not going to be running all over the place looking and digging them up. But let's get our new little garden sorted out. And they're all water. So we've watered things once. I believe it's because one of the things no, I, I don't know why it counts as once, but it should have counted as two in my opinion. And let's try and send these metals to the Geo Council. We don't need to call about them. I always accidentally click that because it's one of the first options that comes up. So we'll get those back in a few days. Those will be elements because I kind of want to collect the elements now that I've started. But let's travel. I think today we are finally going to start on our handiness skill. I've been saying for a while it's something I wanted to do, partly because I think you can fix some furniture with it you find in the dumpsters. I'm not entirely sure. So later in this episode I think we will have to go dumpster diving to test for fairy if we can find anything in there. But yeah, we're gonna just come to the gallery here because there is upstairs the woodworking tables. If I can find them, they're over at the front and someone has left a half finished project so I am gonna scrap it, we can't continue it. And then we will start making things, potentially as well. If we get our handiness skill up enough, we could make some shelves, which would maybe be a nice way to show off our fossil collection if we can get high enough as well which isn't going to happen today we can also make furniture which would be very helpful for our house it is very empty though it's quite small so it is for the best it's empty so let's make some knife blocks here these also be good to sell off we can potentially sell them at the flea market or maybe we could get a selling table and sell them that way for a little sale event but it looks like Carly's wanting to talk to Tina. She's autonomously started talking to her. So maybe we, she's a maker as well, so she might actually be able to tell us how to fix the furniture. Let's do a cheerful introduction and get to know Tina. We've also reached level six of charisma. This is a very productive episode so far. It's gone a bit derailed because I didn't think we'd complete the aspiration so quickly. Um, I thought I was going to be running around for absolute ages looking for the final fossil like we did last episode, but this time we, we've got it very quickly, so let's just talk to Gina. We will just have try and have a little bit of a productive but chill rest of this episode with Carly. She wants to stay outside for eight hours as well, so we'll pin that because we'll probably accidentally be able to complete that whim. Let's find out what career Tina has. I believe she's a maker. Potentially that could be her trait. She, she does something. She's part of the Eco Lifestyle Pack. She came with that one. So I think her job's around that. Yeah, she's a crafter and she has a maker trait. So that's where I'm getting confused. So let's finish up. Does she like fixing? Yes, that's going to be handy. We can upgrade our utilities at our house as well. And we've done the knife block, so let's create another one. It does cost a little bit of money to make, but I'm sure we can make a little bit of profit on that when we start selling them off. It 
does look very dangerous when she's just swinging the knife around. Oh my gosh. In real life, I don't think it would be this chaotic. But we've reached level 2 handiness, which is quite nice. And we're uncomfortable. We have hurt herself. I did say, I just said just now that swinging the knife around like that is going to get someone hurt. But <laughs> let's keep talking to Tina for a minute while I try and find food for Carly. Yeah, so we've got the produce stall and a little food stall here. We will haggle. We're level 6 charisma. I think we could get a little discount on the food, but we do have some money in um, We've got a call from Luna. She wants us to join her club, the Paragons. I think we maybe should. I can't remember what that club is about. It's not the gardening one, which would have probably been better. And they've called us for a meet, but I don't want to go do that just now. So let's check the club. So Sophia, who we kind of know, Sergio, we don't know as well. And it looks like they, it's fashion and coffee, by the sounds of it, and they don't like one of the other clubs. So we'll maybe stay with them for a little bit. It will be a good social opportunity, spend more time with people. Maybe we'll leave. I don't know if I want to be mean to people just because they're in another club, just because they're in the Renegades. She's very nice and she's very happy and just wants to be friends with everyone. But we've managed to haggle and get discounted suit and food. Let's go with the bruschetti. I, I don't think I have pronounced it uh, right. I've totally butchered that. But it looks like some sort of vegetables on a stick type deal it looks nice so we'll get Carly to eat that and then we'll potentially look at some produce one of our paintings has expired on Plopsy we're not going to be able to sell it that way we'll maybe just sell it the normal way out of the inventory but it looks like there's also some snow globes and we can get another poster to decorate our room I think that would be quite nice a little bit more decoration for us, so she's just gonna go, she's just gonna stop saying and eating her food to go and grab that. She's determined to get these snow globes, and there's another box in the background, so we'll get a couple of snow globes. We might sell them off, we might use them for decoration, we might keep them, and as I said, use them at a flea market. Well, I haven't seen a flea market on the calendar so it might be a little bit away before we're able to do that if we do get a sales table we could mark them up there as well with our little woodwork mix we're going to hopefully make over time but let's have a little look at the produce stall what do we want to plant in our garden yes another successful haggle so let's get the discounted items but it's going to be handy for us to have. So there's a few things. The apple looks interesting. We could plant another tree in our garden. Potentially, oh, maybe potato. I'm not quite sure. Or the tomato is actually. Let's go with an apple. And I think a cherry as well. We can get some more trees on our lot. That'll also be handy for so I think that's going to be our time at the museum today. Let's head off somewhere else. Let's travel to... Let's go and do dumpster diving. Let's spend a little bit of time and see if we can get a couple of pieces of furniture we can potentially fix up right now. Or we can keep in our house full hold inventory until we decide how we're going to fix them up. There is a couple of ways you can do it through the maker career, I believe, of the eco-conservationist. And there is a way you can do it with magic. We could potentially. So our friend Elle with the pink hair, she, I think, is a spellcaster. So potentially she could introduce us to the world of of magic she could like see what we're doing she could say you know she could help us she could let us in on the secret but we're really not very close friends with her right now so she won't be telling us anything about magic right now but that could be a useful way in the future to decide how we are going to go about fixing our furniture we find here 
because it is going to be handy, we won't have to buy it and if we can fix it we don't need to spend the simoleons on it. But while we're here, let's get rid of that ice cream we found in the dumpster. I don't think we want to eat that. We can get a couple of the recycling points because eventually it might be handy to get a fabricator when we can afford it. And Bess is calling. We could afford a thousand simoleons, but I don't want to give her a thousand simoleons. We've worked very hard for this in, in previous playthroughs. I've had she would phone every day asking for the simoleons. We'd give her lots of the money and she never seems to give it back. But it is definitely time to go home. We have got the apple to plant, the cherry to plant, and Carly is absolutely filthy, which is understandable. She was raking around in a dumpster looking for furniture. She is filthy. She needs to get clean. She needs to sort herself out. So first things first, let's get her to shower. We will also get her to use the toilet as well. Her bladder is getting very low and let's get these new plants out. We'll put the trees up here. At least I think, I, I hope a cherry is a tree. I'm sure it must be cherry trees. Yeah, you get cherry trees because I think having a little tree border on one side might be nice. We'll probably end up moving a lot of our plants when we are refurbishing the house a little bit more, making it a little bit tidier. But yeah, let's just crack on and get these things planted. We can't plant them, why can't we plant them? And an inspector said, Yuki's planted our new things for us. That's really kind, but I I kind of wanted to plant them myself so we could work on our new aspiration. And this is an inspector for the neighborhood action plans by the looks of it. Yeah, we've got Foodies Unite, Green Gardening and Self-Sufficient. We can do two of the three things right now. We can't really cook. We don't have any way to cook. But we have a garden. We have a very big garden. We now have a handiness skill. So we could also start upgrading a few little appli appliances. They're not appliances, utilities we have. But let's talk to Yuki. We've just found out she's a geek. So that's pretty fun. I think she's going to be like our gamer friend if we are going to do that. We should probably invite her to GeekedCon next time around. We're good friends with her as well. It looks like potentially that crush is gone. I'm not seeing the flirty behaviour with Yuki anymore because we previously had a little crush on her. We tried to go to sleep but it is not fast forwarding because Yuki's still in the lot. She is talking to little Moo. I'm worried he's going to eat her. So let's send her home and Yes, we've passed our inspection. That's good. Little Moo is also hungry. We will have to feed him because we don't want to get eaten and I don't want any of our friends or neighbours to get eaten. That would not help us at all. Let's sell off the snow globes because we've got no room for them. We've got nowhere to put them. But maybe because we are near 6,000 simoleons, so potentially in the next couple of episodes, especially when we decide how we're going to fix all the furniture, we could do a little upgrade of our house, open up this room a little bit more, put an actual door on the bathroom, maybe give her a little private bedroom properly. But let's check what we've got. We have got a stone bench, that would be nice for outside, and a chair. We have a chair. Which, no, we can't fix them, we can only replace them. So the handiness skill, not the way to go on this. So it is a toss up between trying to find a way to get the machine which fix them, the little handheld Suki machine which will fix, take the dirt away from them, or becoming a spellcaster. Spellcaster could be a lot of work, you need a very specific spell for that. But it could be fun, it could be interesting. We could also use the facilities in the magic realm as well. It's very beautiful there. But let's see about using some of the common upgrade parts we've been hoarding over the last little while. 
no, she she wants to. Is she researching or talking to a plant? Oh, this girl is very much uh, a plant type sim. She's a gardener. She loves the outdoors. So let's see about selling off the produce again for the second time this year. So let's sell all. I don't think we want to keep anything. Yeah, she's researching the plant there by the looks of it. But we'll get everything else sold off as well. It's going to bring us hopefully above 6,000. Yes, it has. We are above 6,000. And I know it's early, but let's see if we can chat with Elle for a bit. No, it's not coming up on here. That might mean she's not awake. This could be really bad, but let's see if we can find her in our big friends book. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll chat with her or maybe send a text. Let's send a happy text, see if we get any reaction. Just because I want to become slightly better friends with her if we do decide to go down the spellcaster route. Because it's handier if we know someone to start off, I think. Yeah, it hasn't got a reaction. Let's chat. Oh, it is very early though. Yeah, she is sleeping. In fairness, if someone called me at quarter to seven in the morning, I would probably not be happy with them either. <laughs> so let's just... what do we want to do for the last little bit of this? I think we should do those upgrades we talked about. We have the upgrade parts we've been keeping a hold of from when we've been digging and fishing. So let's upgrade our shower and our toilet. Hopefully it means they won't, it'll help them to stop breaking so we don't have to repair them. I think that'll be the last thing we do today. So we'll just leave Carly to upgrade her little bathroom area. Today has been quite a chaotic episode because I really didn't know what I was wanting to do past looking for that final fossil. I already said I thought it would take forever to find. So finding it quite early on has thrown me off, but we have managed to start our handiness skill. We've upgraded a couple of things in our house and Carly's got an Ian. So that is a very good place to stop off for today. We'll get her to look after herself. We'll see you next time, guys.